Mm. I'm so hungry right now. It's been one of those days. I'm eating chicken sausage that's ground up. It's almost like ground beef. And yes, I'm eating with a spoon. <laughs> Isn't that amazing how your parents rub off on you? I don't know why, but I went to the drawer to get my fork out and the spoon was calling my name. Although my mom usually uses a large spoon when she eats her food with a spoon. I chose a small one. Anyways, super busy day, super busy week. Continuing to keep everybody in the wake of Hurricane Irma in my thoughts and those that have already suffered and those also that are still suffering from the life after Hurricane Harvey. Also, uh, those affected by the earthquake in Mexico. It's just been an insane few days and weeks. So, I wanna talk about silliness because I think that's important. Escapism is needed. Um, I did that last night. I went to go see the It movie and I loved it. Strongly recommend it. I don't really have anything to say. I mean, it's done so well. There was pretty much nothing I didn't like about it. So check it out. And yeah, let's get right to it. All right. So for the last couple of days, this topic has been trending a lot. Is Kim Kardashian a feminist? This was prompted by Sharon Osbourne calling Kim Kardashian a hoe and not a feminist. And Kim responding by posting a naked photo of herself which she does a lot. And then Sharon Osbourne didn't backtrack. Instead, she doubled down. And let me read exactly what she said because I like to be accurate. Sharon Osbourne has this to say about Kim Kardashian. I don't think what she does equals feminism. Yes, she's done it on her own. Yes, she doesn't rely on a man for her living. She makes more than enough a terrific career. But I don't think because you bear your body, that makes you a feminist. It's not about what she does with her own body, which we're all free to do whatever we want. Not criticizing anybody for what they do with their own body. More power to her that she's exquisite looking. She's confident in herself. She's a strong woman and she's done really well. She's done incredibly well. Not putting her down for that at all. All right, is she a feminist or not? I'll tell you what she is, and that's still winning because A, Sharon Osbourne is talking about her, and B, I'm talking about her right now, and C, everybody has a damn opinion about Kim Kardashian. And they probably will until the reality TV show is canceled. If you're over them, let E know. Stop watching, stop watching totally, and uh, that will truly be the beginning of the end for them, but anyways. Do I think Kim Kardashian is a feminist? Well, just by reading some of the words that Sharon Osbourne herself used to describe Kim Kardashian, uh, she said confident, strong woman, uh, doesn't rely on a man, did it all on her own. That to me sounds like a feminist. I think we should be specific though, okay? Like anything in life, you can be passive or active. I would say, yes, Kim Kardashian is a feminist, but I would say she is a passive feminist. I would say she's a feminist because of all the reasons Sharon Osbourne did state, and also some of the reasons she didn't. To many women, Kim Kardashian is an inspiration. They want to be like her. They want to be a brand and have successful business and have kids and a husband and have it all like she does in their mind, these women. So if you're inspiring women, to me that makes you at least a passive feminist. What Kim Kardashian is doing actively to help women, that I am not so sure about. So I wouldn't call her an active feminist, but I wouldn't insult her to say she isn't one, I don't think that's accurate. 
You know, so many people want to be like Kim Kardashian and have tried unsuccessfully. There is something about her that is different and special and you cannot knock that. And even though I, for a while now, have been suffering Kardashian fatigue, I also have said this. I know Kim Kardashian. She's a nice person. I don't think a single person on the planet can say she's a rude, nasty, miserable bitch. She's not that. Maybe some of the relatives? That's another story. But Kim, nice, simple, sweet girl. And a an passive feminist. <laughs> I'm glad that I uh, explained that for Sharon and for you. Uh, in other uh, feminist news, I would say also that Kate Winslet is a feminist, but here's the thing, right? You can be something and still cause harm to the movement. Like, I am a big gay. I like to think I'm all for equal rights, gay rights, you know, gay acceptance. But in the past, I probably did things that um, hurt the movement or that negatively um, affected the way people uh, viewed some gay folks. Kate Winslet, feminist, but doing some awful, nasty, shady shit. Working not just with Woody Allen, but also working with Roman Polanski. A, a man who fucked his stepdaughter and did that while he was with the mother of his child, Ronan Farrow, and B, a fucking child rapist, Polanski. And Kate Winslet's excuse for working with these men, let me read you what she had to say. She said, of course one thinks about it, but at the same time, I didn't know Woody and I don't know anything about the family. As the actor in the film, you just have to step away and say, I don't know anything really, and whether any of it is true or false. Having thought it all through, you put it to one side and you just work with the person. Woody Allen is an incredible director. So is Roman Polanski. I had an extraordinary working experience with both of those men, and that's the truth. I'm probably gonna barf my lunch now after reading that shit. Hate. Hate. I'm so disappointed in you. Hopefully you readdress this at a later point and realize that's some fucked up shit you said. Speaking of fucked up shit, did you guys watch that TV interview that Steve Bannon gave? I could barely sit through it. It was his first sit-down interview since leaving the White House and I don't even care what he has to say to be honest, but because I am a nice person, um, I will say this. I hope the dude gets healthy because looking at him, it's clear he is not healthy. The eyes are a dead giveaway. I may be fucking tired and exhausted because I only got three and a half hours of sleep last night because I went to see that damn movie and I went to the dentist yesterday and I had to catch up with work and driving my son to his new school and my daughter to school. And blah, blah, blah. But look at my eyes. Super healthy. Haven't had a drink since July 4th weekend. Go to the gym five days a week. This bitch is on point. Steve Bannon, I don't know what those demons are inside. Booze, drugs pills, but he's not healthy. It's painfully obvious, and I wish him wealth. I am sending him health. Good vibes to him. Also, uh, Kellyanne Conway is speaking praise about Hillary Clinton. Take that woman's name out of your mouth. Don't. Ever again. Ugh! Although, um, I just was thinking about Kellyanne a lot 
after reading these quotes from her in a new interview that she gave, she's been laying real low. I don't even know what Kellyanne does, to be honest, but she's the last woman standing, or man, uh, from all those that entered at the same time. And this is my favorite thing, actually, of what she had to say. Her own words. <clears throat> I take on this role as a counselor to the president, the highest ranking non-relative female in the White House. That was a little shade at Ivanka Trump, wasn't it? A little dig? Like, she's like, I'm the highest ranking and I didn't have to be related. Translation. Uh, in other wacky news, uh, Scott Disick has been partying it up in New York City. And yes, I mentioned earlier in the week how he was hospitalized in August on a 5150 psychiatric hold. In addition to partying it up in New York City for Fashion Week, um, he was spotted hanging out with Sophia Richie, Lionel Richie's teenage daughter, Molly. You in danger, girl. Run away. Get far, far away from Scott Disick. Seriously, baby girl. Not for you, if I were Lionel, I would be cutting up her credit cards if she doesn't ditch him, lose his number, and never speak to him again. But that's just me. That's just the kind of dad I am. Speaking of New York Fashion Week, if you want to catch up with all the fashion, you can uh, make sure you don't miss a thing at CocoPerez.com. And even more info uh, and photos, clearly, on my Coco Perez Insta account. And that's it. It's Coco Perez Insta. Uh, and finally, I really want to end things on a positive note. Not only is George Clooney a huge humanitarian financially, but he also is a huge humanitarian with a huge heart who puts his mouth and home where his money is. George has offered asylum to a refugee from Iraq at his house in Kentucky. Not many people would do that. Bravo to you, George Clooney. That has touched me, inspired me, and it's beautiful. And you watching this are beautiful and The world can sometimes not seem beautiful, but hopefully I can give you guys some entertainment, infotainment, and a little break from your day. So thank you for watching this. If you liked it, hit like, hit share, and if you're not following me yet, follow.